Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing another Dino Day and Dino Profiles episode. And today, this episode is on You Strip the Spondylus. You Strip the Spondylus' first appearance is in the last episode of Dino Dana, where it is a recolored version of the Albertosaurus design. Well, at least the original Albertosaurus design. And, um, yeah, it's honestly portrayed pretty inaccurately, being first thing stated to live in the Triassic when this guy did live in the Jurassic instead. Another thing, it only having two fingers since it's a reuse of the Albertosaurus design, and also it is shown to be the same size as Albertosaurus, which even older estimates of a larger Eustriptospondylus never got that big. Eustriptospondylus is a pretty small animal, actually, though it did have some decent size to it. It portrayed in the show with a kind of a dark brownish orangey kind of color scheme along the top of the back and feet, with most of its body being a creamish, grayish, whitish color scheme, with that also being the striping, with it having also yellow eyes, well, yellowy green eyes. It also had a later appearance in the Dino Dana um, Dino Field Guide, with, alongside the other dinosaurs it appeared with. Um, you Strip the Spotless can be found in the Dino Dan Dino Cam app in the Diverse Dinosaur Pack, alongside Styracosaurus, You Strip the Spondylus, again. Um, Archelon and Titanus, where it can be purchased for $2.49 or $0.99 cents separately on its own. With its design being similar, though the browns being more of a mutish gray color, besides that it is also a reskin of the Albertosaurus, with having many different animations in this game. And yeah, that is all for you strip the spondylus. I do think it's someone I like to let the species will reappear, though I do think there still is a chance that it could reappear. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Dino Dan Dino Profiles. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.